I want to be a carpenter, you know? So that's what I wanted. So um, I just want to, you know, work with my hands. And I did that in, in when I became, when I was studying art, and I, when I started doing my own work, it was all about that, all about construction, carpentry, making models. I'm Ivan Navarro, and I'm, I was born in Chile in uh, 1972, and then I, I grew up there. I lived there until 1997, um, and then I moved to New York, and I've been living in New York since then. In my family, both of my parents are uh, teachers and um, an artist. Um, they, they both are very close to work with their hands. Hmm? My father, as an artist, um, um, is um, an artist who, who draw political cartoons. He was a graphic design teacher. Mm -hmm. And um, he was very close during when he was young. He was part of a, a university who had a, a department of, um, let's say, graphic propaganda for university and for the socialist government of uh, Salvador Allende in that period. So this is between uh, 1970 and um, 1973. Mm -hmm. So he used to run that department. So, um, <clears throat> so and then he, at the same time, he was doing uh, his uh, political cartoons as a side project. Mm -hmm. He was uh, publishing in mag political magazines, um, newspapers. Um, and then when the, the, the coup came, in 1973, he lost his job, and um, uh, both my mother and my father um, stay home. For me, it was um, very normal to see my father making drawings, mm? and also there were um, there were political cartoons, so there were jokes, so there was they were funny, you know. So it wasn't just about being the victim and have a, a sad you know, time because we were living through a dictatorship. He was also making fun of the dictatorship, so at least there was some kind of sense of humor about it. My family was very um, scared also of the situation, so my father didn't do drawings for a, for a long period of time. There was a, mo a period of probably 15 years that he didn't do anything. He only worked, because he lost his job as a teacher, he lost his work as a, you know, running the, the department of uh, graphics. He had to work in an um, advertising company, which was, was very sad for him, you know, because there was no other option. Um, but and then after 15 years, um, the political situation was more complicated, you know, because there was a more obvious fight between the left and the, and the right, but at the same time, the, the dictatorship wasn't able to hold it anymore, you know, so the, the left side was already, was doing open protest. Mm -hmm. And there were allowed some uh, uh, left side publications, magazines, to circulate, and that's when my father started publishing again. So it was a very, it was a very slow process and it was, a, you know, it was a very difficult because very emotional. I was never interested in becoming an artist for the same reason, because I was uh, too close, it was too obvious, you know, I was, I was looking for something different that I was, you know, I wanted to kind of get out of that. Also, I've never been able to, to teach for the same reason, because of my parents and my brother now, he, everybody's a teacher in my family, besides being an artist. 
So I, I didn't really know what I wanted. You know, I wanted to, you know, learn carpentry, but the problem in Chile there isn't any formal place to teach you. You know, you have to learn. I learned a little bit from my grandfather, from my father, from an uncle. But that's all you can get if you if you if you want to be a, a carpenter. Since I I was my family was supporting me to go to school, I say I would like to study. Um, this um, set design, hmm? which was the closest to be a carpenter, you know, to just, you know, put together, make construction, make sets. My test was very, very bad, and I couldn't enter to set design, but I, I was, I had enough score to enter to art school. So I entered to art school, and then I, I learned that I was, uh, art school was a much more open place where I, you know, if I wanted to be a, a set designer, what I was, it was perfectly fine to study art to become a, a, a set designer. So I stayed. And then little by little I became more interested in, in art. 